I wanted to show you this uh, Purple Heart fretboard that I've been making. Um, there's a friend of mine that uh, contacted me from YouTube. Um, he saw this LED guitar and he really wanted me to make him one. So he mailed me his guitar and uh, he commissioned me to make him his own LED guitar neck. And it's a bass guitar. It's going to be a jazz bass, four string. And uh, here's what I've got done so far. Um, I cut the fret slots using my, my saw. Got that all done the other day. And then the next thing I did was sort of just draw these X's with pencil to mark where the centers are and drill these holes. These holes are five millimeters, or in other words, uh, 193 thousandths of an inch. Um, so I just drill straight through for those holes. The next thing I do is I flip it over and I take a quarter inch Forstner bit. And the thing about a Forstner bit, drill bit, is that it will drill a very flat, squared off sort of a hole. So I can take that quarter inch Forstner bit and then just sort of drill right back, right down to uh, accommodate the base of the LED. And I only drill down about a sixteenth of an inch. And I use a stop on my drill press so that I only drill in a sixteenth of an inch. Because any deeper than that, and uh, the LED might be poking too far out the, the top, and when I sand, you might sand through the epoxy and actually hit the, uh, the part of the LED that makes it glow, the semiconductor part. So after I, I drilled with the Forstner bit, I take this in my milling machine and I, I, I put in a router bit that is about an, about an eighth of an inch wide. And then I can go ahead and just start milling out these channels. Um, this channel is for positive 9 volts, and then the black one is negative, or actually ground. And then I can just go ahead and uh, I can put resistors in these little slots if I need to. And then I can just have the wires just go from through the resistor, through the LED, and back out to the ground. So that's that's about all I've got going here on this um, this fretboard so far. Next thing I need to do is just pop all the LEDs in, solder it up, and uh, glue it onto his neck, and then I can get it going. Uh, th then after that, the, one of the harder parts is I have to radius the fretboard. Um, that's going to take a little bit of work. I have to have something that does a perfect like 14 inch radius or something and just sand over the top of it because your guitar has to have you know a decent radius and I can't remember which which type of radius it is whether it's a 12 inch radius or 14 inch radius or what it is but I will have to put a radius on this fretboard um, and then I have to pound the fret wire on and I, I have a little I will have little copper wires that poke out on the third, fifth, seventh, ninth, twelfth fret to accommodate this feature so that when I touch the third fret or the fifth fret or the seventh or the ninth, etc., there's a little copper wire that's attached to the fret so that when I touch the string down, it completes the circuit. So I will have to drill those holes, and when I pound the fret wire down, I have to pound it over that, that copper wire to make the, the circuit complete. So that's what I've got going on so far. Um, so uh, I will update in the future. Show us the LED. I mean, the, oh, oh, the okay, white so one. here's the LED. Um, the guy who decided to uh, commission me to do this, he, he chose these white LEDs. It's sort of a warm white. It's not uh, a cool white. So it's sort of a more of a yellowish white rather than a bluish white, which I think looks good as far as white goes. Um, so that's that what that's what color it's going to look like, and it's just going to. Put it through the hole. <laughs> Put it through the hole. Yeah, I did that earlier. Well, I can kind of poke it through, I guess. <laughs> it's going to be, I can't poke it all the way in. I'll have to sort of jam it in. But yeah, it's going to look more like that with the white rather than the, the blue I put on mine. So, there you have it.